Hi, James here. Today I want to show you how to make panel lines. I'm going to show you two different methods. Both of them are non-destructive. Now the first one is using the pool tool, which is a free Blender add-on. You can add this one by going to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and look for the pool tool. You may need to go to System and turn on Allow Online Access. You may also need to, if you get an error trying to install it from the add-ons, install it from the get extensions instead. So now on with the tutorial. I'm not going to delete the original default cube, but I am going to add another one. I'm going to move it to the front and up a bit. I'm just going to press S and scale it down. Now the first thing is, you want to click on the tool that's going to be your cutter that's going to cut away from the main one and then you click click on your main object now press ctrl minus and you'll see that it's now cut that away next thing you want to do is open up the cube hierarchy and go to the second cube which was your cutter i want you to go to modifiers and you want to generate solidify now you have a nice panel line you can change the thickness of it here if you want you can also go into this object now by pressing tab grab a few of the edges and you can bevel these to make it look a little bit cooler and you can see there's a live cut so you can see exactly what's happening Likewise, I can tab out of that and tab on the main object. You can grab an edge. You can bevel that. And you can see that it again updates that cut live. So that's the first way of doing a non-destructive panel cut. Let's move on to the second method. So I'm just going to make a new scene. So for this method, you're going to add a number of modifiers to the cube. So I'm going to go and add a modifier, generate, edge split. The next modifier you're going to add is a solidifier. The final modifier that we're going to add is a bevel. Now right click on the cube and select shade auto smooth. If you don't have shade auto smooth as an option, you may just have an older version of Blender, so just go and download the latest version. Now I'm going to tab into it and I'm just going to add some loop cuts with Ctrl R. I'm going to do that in every direction. Now I'm going to press 2 to go to edge mode and just select some edges, the thing that you'd like to cut out. Now right click and now mark sharp. And now you can see it started to be there. And you can see that it's made a cut. If you want to go to the bevel, select geometry, turn clamp overlap off, and just reduce the size right down, and add a few more segments. And there you go, you have a nice panel cut. And you can really edit this easily. You can just hit one to go to a vertice. You just drag that down. You can see it's all updating live. This method is actually really good if you want to make normal maps for your games. I'm a game developer from Australia. If you wanted to come and chat with me, a Discord link is in the description. Likewise, there's links to all of my other things like the games I'm making. Hope you have a great day.